Welcome to Small Talk. My name is David Shaw. Last Sunday we held a communion service in church. Now I know that other churches have been open for worship for a while. This was our first. It was the first service of any sort in the building since March. And we as a church had decided to open specifically for communion. I, along with most if not everyone in the congregation, had not shared in communion for six months. I felt that lack most of all at Easter, for for me, communion is at the heart of that celebration. The risen Christ is met most wonderfully in bread and wine. This Sunday, uh, there were 27 of us. In pre-Covid times, there would have been a hundred or so of us. Some had stayed away on my encouragement so that we could ensure the numbers for this first service were manageable. It's an odd thing to discourage people from attending church and receiving communion. Perhaps it was not just odd, but wrong. I, though, am, am grateful to those people. They didn't receive so that others might do so. What a gracious and generous gift. And I wonder if their sacrifice goes to the heart of communion. It's not solely an act between the communicant and God, but a collective event which together we encounter and receive from God. Even an apparent exception, home communion, where somebody from church visits somebody who's housebound and gives them communion, even that is linked to the service from which the bread and the wine come. Those people who are housebound are linked to the people who have also shared from the same table. A few years ago, when I was in a previous church, we moved the communion table from its normal place at the front of church right to the centre and put the chairs around the uh, outside of the, of the table. And a boy of about six or seven came in and he said to his dad, they've moved the community table. That young lad had shown a deep insight into communion. It's the place where God meets God's people.